Um, I don't know. I play louder sometimes, but... Um, I don't know. Sometimes. Okay. Cool. You ready? Cool. I think so. Okay. Okay. Hey, Destiny, how's Wait, it going? let's cut it because I just flipped the camera off. Okay, <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I'm good at least once. Okay. Okay. I won't do it again, though. You want me to delete that in? What? No, no, delete it. Okay. 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 I'll cut it. I won't do it anymore. It, it's just a finger. No, you know? that's okay. It, it just has some it's sort of meaning. It's just a finger? Okay. Yeah. All right, in control. Yeah, okay. All right, there. That'd be Destiny position. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Okay, go ahead. I'm ready. Okay. So, um, hey, everyone. I'm Edward Starcraft, and I'm here with Destiny who is a member of Rude Gaming and an excellent streamer that you know a lot of us know and love. How are you doing? Pretty good. Um, so how are you enjoying MLG so far this time? Uh, it's pretty fun. I haven't really played any games yet, but should be good. Uh, how do you think of it like compared to Dallas? Um, it's pretty cool. There's a really high girl right there, and I have to keep looking at her. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, I don't see her. <laughs> in the red dress. No, no, okay. Matrix reference? Sorry. No, what? No, yeah, um, no, I feel really good. Oh, no, 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 but there is an actual girl, <laughs> unless I'm crazy. Okay. No, but um, I feel really good. Um, last MLG, I was a pretty solid player, but not very much strategy. Um, mm -hmm. I didn't really know what to do in ZVP at all, and I, obviously I lost a response, a good Protoss player, an Axelab, and probably even better Protoss player. Um, but I feel super, I feel really, really, really good going into this. I hope that I can do really well. Okay. Well, you say that you, um, you improved a lot, and, you know, I, I've seen that as well. Just looking at you in uh, tournaments, and you know you qualified for IGN Pro League. So, mm -hmm. um, you know what? What do you say would have made you improved so far in the last two months? Like, what what did you do to improve? Yourself? Um, I just I, I tried to escape um, certain ways that matches are played. Like ZVP is always Roach Hydra Corruptor. You know, so I just kind of tried to look for different because I didn't really like that style of play. So just in looking for different things and kind of synthesizing information from different players. You know, I kind of just take a lot of stuff, put it together, and then I see what works best for me. Um, my ZVT right now is pretty unique, but it's actually the synthesis of what I learned from Mr. Bitter. Used to open with heavy and fasters against Terran. I think this was pre-patch even. Um, and, and and Psy Starcraft from Vile Gaming, believe it or not, a long time ago, told me, hey, you should get fast 1-1-ups one, one for Lings. They were good. You know, and I took it a little bit with a grain of salt. Psy obviously doesn't play that much anymore. But I mean, it was a really good piece of advice. And I've kind of combined those two things, and then I combine it with my crazy, excessive, you know, Know, making of investors and then it kind of works for me so I mean I don't know I take a lot of different things from a lot of different players and I feel really good now about what I do cool you know one thing that I noticed over the last two months is I haven't seen you stream as much uh, compared to like earlier in the year what happened um, I mean I've got some real life things now obviously I have to babysit sometimes my adorable little baby kid um, so I mean that comes into it a little bit I still do stream quite a bit though um, it's just at different times now. I don't necessarily stream as early anymore, and I definitely don't stream into the late hours of the night anymore either. Babies actually are, are extremely efficient alarm clocks. There's no snooze button, and when they wake up and they want food, like you have to wake up with them. So I've been getting up at like 7:30 a lot of the days, and then I kind of babysit till about 11 or noon, and then I start streaming. But waking up that early, I obviously don't stay awake until 4 or 5 a.m. anymore. So sounds good. So I know some people who are watching this, you know, maybe looking at working on their own stream, you know, getting followers and stuff. So what's the best way to really uh, you know, get a good stream, um, get viewers? Because, I mean, when you first started streaming, you weren't the best player out there, but people watched you. Definitely. Um, the, if you want viewers, the, there are tons of Zerg players out there, probably better than you. Tons of Protoss players out there, probably better than you. Tons of Terran players out there, probably better than you. Um, there are going to be people streaming at better resolutions than you, and there are going to be people streaming more than you. Um, it's just the way the world works. Unless you're the absolute best at, somebody, at something, people are going to be doing it better than you. The one thing that you can offer that nobody else in the entire world can offer is your personality. It's the only reason I took off. I mean, I've gotten better now. I feel pretty good about my play now. but. Obviously, like even as, as early as a couple months ago, there were a lot of Zerg streamers that were way better than me. And there still are some that are arguably better than me, considerably better than me, um, who don't get as many viewers as I do because they don't talk or they or they rarely talk. They have no personality on their stream. It's just games, you know. And when somebody watches a stream, if they're going to watch a stream with absolutely no talking or anything, they're going to go and they're going to watch the best player stream, you know. Um, so, like, if you play Protoss and you want to try to get a stream off the ground, but you're not going to talk or anything, why would anybody watch you over, like, Nanny Wa or Minigun or somebody like that, you know? Those guys are really, really good. If they want to just see high-level play, they're going to go look at the best streams. But if you've got, if you talk, if you've got personality, like, a lot of people still watch Orb. And not to take anything away from Orb, but, I mean, Orb isn't, you know, near some of the players that stream, but he still gets quite a few viewers sometimes, just because of his personality, you know? Mm -hmm. 
So I noticed that you know you use your personality a lot in your stream, and uh -huh. it is indeed very successful. And you have influence over a large portion of the StarCraft Two community. And you know, to some extent, I, I would say that I don't think you've really used that influence as much as you could, if you wanted to. You know, do whatever, like I don't know, spread some product or uh, promote esports or whatnot. Why is that? And Right now I kind of just do my own thing. Mm -hmm. um, I like to stream and I I think one of the reasons why people like me, or at least I hope one of the reasons why people like me is I come across as an incredibly genuine person. If you, if I say something, you know I mean it, you know? Like I don't use DOS keyboard because they sponsor me, I use it because I really fucking like the keyboard. And I think it feels good and I like the way that it types, you know? Um, if I say something, I think that it carries a lot of gravity with it. If you start to tie yourself down with a lot of sponsors, or like I have overlays up all the time, and you know, like I'm saying things like, like, not to pick out like, but XXX memory really makes my computer run fast, you know, and it's like, okay, well, when you start to make statements like that, um, not only does it hurt the authenticity of those statements, but it kind of hurts the authenticity, the authenticity of everything you say, you know? Because, well, he caters some statements to sponsors, you know, well, what else does he kind of not have mean, you know? I don't know. So right now I'm just I'm doing fine enough on money so that I don't have to like tie myself down to sponsors and start to curtail my messages to them. Okay. Uh, and I guess the last thing is, well, I have a few more questions. But you got into the IGN Pro League season two, and um, you know, how excited are you? And what are your goals for that? Um, my run into the IGN was pretty easy. I probably had one of the easiest brackets going in. So, I mean, you could take something away from it with that. I'm happy that I was able to win the games that I should have, though. That means a lot to me that I didn't lose to a no-name. But um, I don't know how much is actually aired yet, but I actually made it... Um, I don't know how much I should say, but I made it a lot farther into that qualifier than I think most people would think. And um, I'm actually really excited about the wins. Not getting into the IPL exactly, but past the round of 16. I'm really happy with how I played. Um, I hope to do really good in the IPL. I really hope to do good here. Like I said, I feel a lot better about my matchups now than I did before, so. But I guess only time will tell. Okay. Well, sounds good. Any last thoughts? Um, uh, thanks a lot to Root. I mean, I've gotten a lot better since I've been on the team. I, a lot better. Um, thanks a lot to Dust Keyboard for making my keyboard. And um, thanks a lot to Cloud9 Labs. Uh, I've got a new website at root-destiny.com and it looks a lot better than the one that I had made by hand and that's everything was made by uh, Cloud9 Labs. Super cool guys. Very cool. Well, thank you so much and where can people follow you? Um, root-destiny.com is my website, otherwise I stream on Team Liquid. I don't really have a Twitter or anything like that yet, so. Oh, really? I didn't... There's I a guy I'm... named Steven Bonnell II on Twitter, but it's not me, so I mean... <laughs> Yeah, I saw you were actually listed as Steven Bonnell one on the MLG website, and oh, I was yeah, like I face palm. Maybe my dad was playing. I don't know. <laughs> Anything's possible. Well, thank you so much for your time. Yep. And hope you have a great weekend. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I hope you have a good weekend too. Hopefully, I'll talk to you after finishing top eight or sixteen. <laughs> Do an interview then. Sounds good. See you. See you later.